Hi, welcome to another fruitful discussion with Mrs. M. So for today, we are going to discuss, okay, uh, Republic Act 6975. So allow me to share screen first. Okay, so last meeting, we have already discussed the uh, creation of Republic Act 6975. So now we'll continue our discussion, particularly on the provision creating the Philippine National Police. All right, so section 24. Okay, so section, uh, not 24. So section uh, 30 of RA6975, particularly on the general qualifications for appointment, it says here that no person shall be appointed as officer or member of the PNP unless he possess the following minimum qualifications. So, what's again on the day? First, Prem, uh, first qualification is that a citizen of the Philippines. So, Kinahanglan, you must be uh, a born Filipino. Next, a person of good moral conduct. Then, a sound mind and body. Meaning to say, it's very uh, important that the applicant of of the Philippine National Police, okay, during the screening, it's very imperative that those who are in charge in the screening should make sure that all applicants that will be, or aspirants, shall I say, that will be admitted in the PNP organization should be physically fit and mentally fit. Next, must possess formal baccalaureate degree for again for the appointment as officer remember we have mentioned we have discussed in our discussion last week that the uh, rank is divided into two okay na atay gitawag na commissioned officer or commissioned rank starting from inspector up to director general and we do have the non-commissioned rank, which is starting from P01 up to SP04. So if you are aspiring to be a commissioned officer, the minimum requirement is a four-year course and must have finished at least second year college or which is equivalent to 72 units if you want to be appointed as a non-commissioned officer as a non-commissioned officer or an equivalent training or experience for those who are already in service upon the effectivity of this act so can you mention the experience and training this will apply to those members of the pcinp the popsicum so on and so forth. So again, klaro ho na to, ha? For those who wants to apply for a commissioned rank, so dapat they must be at least a four-year degree cord holder. And for those who are aspiring, and for those who wants to apply for non-commissioned officer, dapat their rank must be at least 72 units or that is equivalent to second year college. Another, must be eligible in accordance to the standards set by the commission. So, ang commission nga refer ani, it is the National Police Commission. Another, must not have been dishonorably discharged from military deployment, employment or dismissed for a cause from any civilian position in the government. So if you are dishonorably discharged in the armed forces of the Philippines, so you will not qualify for PNP. Another, must not have been convicted of a final judgment of an offense or any or a crime involving moral turpitude. Again, what is emphasized in paragraph G is that not convicted by a final judgment. 
what does it mean that under Republic Act 6975, if you're if you're facing uh, criminal charges and the trial is still ongoing and no judgment has been rendered yet, you are qualified to apply. But then again, the status nimo is not yet permanent. Okay? Kinahang lang pa manatong paabuton ang decision on the charges that you are facing, whether its its decision is conviction or Aquita. Just for in case you were admitted in service, and then once, and then unfortunately the judgment was conviction, then you will be dismissed in service. Just for in case, vice versa, a situation is you were convicted, you were, um, you were not found guilty beyond reasonable doubt. That was the result. Okay, so you were not guilty. So ang imuhang um status. As a non-commissioned officer in the PNP organization, from probation, mahi from probation, himu on na siya nga permanent. Another must be at least 1.62 meters in height for male, which is equivalent to um five four. Okay. Then if you are a female in centimeters, it should be uh, it should be one meter and fifty-seven centimeters or equivalent to five two. Another, your you should have a correct body mass index. Okay, so more than on there. Another for a new applicant must not be less than 21 years old. And should not be more than 30 years old. Okay. Another. In terms with the appointment itself, the appointment of the officers and members of the PNP shall be effected by the following manner. Una, from P01 to senior police officer, it shall be appointed by the regional director for regional personnel or by the chief of the PNP for those who are in the national headquarters and attested by the Civil Service Commission. Another, from inspector, papunta sa superintendent, it should be appointed by the chief PNP and of course, it should be duly recommended by the immediate superior and of course, attested by the Civil Service Commission. Another, Senior Superintendent to Deputy Director General. It should be appointed by the President. Okay, um, uh, upon the recommendation of the Chief PNP. Of course, with the proper endorsement by the Chairman of the Civil Service Commission and subject to the confirmation of the Commission on Election. Ang pag-select po of Director General, or, or shall I say, the head of the PNP organization, the father of the PNP organization, okay, which is the Chief PNP, it shall be appointed by the President. Pero kung saan pagpili sa President, it should be among the senior officers down to the rank of chief superintendent. So ang pwede ng pilihan again by the president are those with at least a rank of chief superintendent and the most senior officer. Another, it should be subject to the confirmation of the commission and election. Provided, provided that the chief PNP shall serve a tour duty not exceeding four years. Provided Furthermore, that in times of war or national emergency declared by the president, okay, the, by the Congress declared by the Congress, the president may extend such tour of duty. Though it is true that under paragraph D of section 31 mentioned that the tour of duty or tenure as a chief PNP under Republic Act 6975 should only be four years, dili dapat mula pa. Pero sa panahon nga na ay gubot, okay? Sa panahon nga na ay national emergency, as declared, okay? The president 
is allowed to extend the tour of duty of the chief PNP. But if you were, if you will try to look at the PNP organization, karon, di mong gani kabut o four years gani ang tour of duty ang usa ka chief, ah uh, chief the the chief PNP, okay? Talagsa tag one year ra, two years ingon ana. So now let's proceed. Section 32, examination for policemen. So the Civil Service Commission shall administer the qualifying entrance examination for the policemen on the basis of the standard set by the commission. Now let's proceed with Section 33, lateral entry of the officers in the PNP. Diba, emphasize na ako ninyo, when you say lateral examination, this means that a non-commissioned officer okay, will be allowed to take a lateral exam. Ya kung makapasar siya, pwede siyang mo apply for a lateral promotion if there is a quota. Na yung pagkahuman, for example, ang iyang rank is PO3, so mo jump na siya direct na oh, inspector. So in general, all appointment of the commissioned officers in the PNP shall commence with the rank of inspector. That is true because inspector under Republic Act 6975 is the least commission rank. Pinakamubo ng commission rank. Pinakauna commission rank. To include all those highly technical qualification, kinsa may musulod sa technical qualification. These are the dentists, optometrists, the nurses, the engineers, and graduate of any forensic sciences like police photo uh, forensic photography, forensic ballistics, legal medicine, so on and so forth. Doctors of medicine, members of the bar and the chaplain may be appointed sila, okay, to the rank of a senior inspector. So take note under 6975. Kung ikaw usa ka doktor, kung ikaw usa ka lawyer, kung ikaw usa ka pare, okay? You can apply for a lateral uh, promotion, then your initial rank will be if promoted, your initial rank will be senior inspector. However, if you are a dentist, optometrist, nurses, engineer, and a graduate of forensic science, dili senior inspector ang imuhang marang, but rather inspector lang. Graduates of the PNPA shall be automatically appointed with the initial rank of inspector. When you say graduates of the Philippine National Police Academy, okay, katuto siyang those who are trained to become an officer. Kasagaran, a uh, uh, high school graduate or K-12 graduate, okay, pwede, na, pwede naman silang take o exam. If they will pass the examination, then they will need to undergo series of screenings. If they will pass it, they might about they will have their take oath in the PNPA. So after four years, Anna, inspector na sila. Another qualification of a chief of a city and municipal police station. So no person shall be appointed as chief of police in a station unless bachelor's degree holders, yeah. Uh, we, from a recognized institution. Okay, another is that, or he was able to serve in the Philippine Constabulary or the police department or in a city or municipal with the rank of captain or its equivalent therein for at least three years. Another is that no person will be appointed as chief of the municipal police station unless kinahanglan niya po bachelor's degree holder. Of course, kinahanglan na kuha niya ay ang degree from a recognized institution or he was able to serve in the PC or in the department of a city or municipal for at least two years. Kanina, ang sa tagi mo, dali, three years. Kanina, ha, two years siya. With the rank of lieutenant or its equivalent. But you need to remember, nga katong member of the bar, katong mga lawyer, minsi member of the bar, those ka nakapasar o bar exam with at least five years 
in active law practice, okay, who possesses the general qualification under Section 33. Yung Section 33, minimum general qualification. So kung nasulod siya, Ana, unsa maging undere, shall be qualified to be appointed as the chief of a city or municipal police station, provided furthermore that the chief of police shall be appointed in accordance with the provisions of Section 51. Kung sa manikabahin ning atuang Section 51. Our Section uh, 51 okay, focuses on the powers of the local government officials over the PNP unit or forces. Okay, so buot pa sabot, dapat the, the, the person who will be appointed as chief of police of a city or municipal who happens to be a lawyer with at least five years um, practice in law, kinahanglan duly appointed by the mayor. Kaya nga naman, under 6975, ang pagpili o chief of police is the job of the local executive of a city or municipality. Of course, again, the mayor is only allowed to select from the recommended candidates. Dili pwede nga, iyahang piliun is outside katong mga recommendations. So dapat within the recommended names na All right. Okay, so now let's have section 35. Support units. So the PNP shall be supported with two, administrative and operational support unit. Okay, so the administrative support unit shall compose of A, crime lab, logistics, communication unit, computer center, uh, finance center, and security unit. While our operational shall be composed of your maritime police unit, your police intelligence, your police security unit, your investigation unit, your special action force, your narcotics, your evasion, your traffic, medical, dental, and civil relations. Ang reason why, ang reason why the PNP has two support unit para to ensure so in order to enhance the police operational efficiency and effectiveness. Okay, as what I've mentioned in our previous discussions in the prelim period, that our PNP, our police officers, are considered as a national in scope and civilian in character under 6975, as well as they are considered as the prime mover of laws. To ensure that they will be able to uphold all laws, one the only way to do it is to make sure that the organization has two support units. One from administrative and one for operational for optimum effectiveness. So the chief of the PNP may constitute such other support units as may be necessary. Of course, kinahanglan nga ay approval from the commission. So... No support unit headed by a chief superintendent or a rank can be created unless provided by law. So under our administrative, again, we do have our crime laboratory. So ang crime laboratory nato it should be established in the central crime laboratory to be headed by a director. Ang rank sa director should be chief superintendent. So which shall provide scientific and technical investigative aid and support the PNP and the government investigative agency. So from the word itself, crime laboratory, so it is expected that our crime lab focuses on scientific examination, like scientific uh, examination of blood, examination of alleged um, methamphetamine hydrochloride. Okay. Um, 
mga mga knife delivered or mga firearms recovered from the crime scene these are the common pieces of evidence that are delivered at the crime scene at the delivered uh, recovered from the crime scene and delivered in the crime lab again for scientific examination and the result of the scientific examination is very helpful okay in elucidating the criminal investigation all right so that's the end of our discussion do not forget do not forget to answer this question let me type it first Okay, so for your assignment, discuss the importance of administrative and operational support unit in the PNP organization. So do not forget, please um, write or type down your answer on the comment section directly in our channel. So bye guys, see you next pre-recorded discussion and live discussion. Bye!